Hi, uh, my name is Nick Radburn. Uh, I'm head of technology at Joseph Leckie Community Technology College. Um, we're involved with Bloodhound today because of a poster that appeared on our wall, uh, which in enthused us to attempt to break the uh, the world record for a, a model rocket car. Everybody wants to get involved. Everybody wants to be here. It's it's just something. Whether we gain the record or not, it's just been a fantastic experience for everyone. The teachers had worked the project into maths, science and design and technology classes, and over nine months the students designed, built and tested various types of car and propulsion. Today was the big day, and with large crowds and the Guinness Book of Records in attendance, there was a lot of pressure on the students and their teachers to succeed. The first single rocket car makes two runs without a hitch, and the teams can move on to the faster twin rocket cars. The first run of 88.5 miles per hour is good enough for a record, providing a return run is made. The car sustained some slight damage. But it can be repaired. Well, this one now we can turn into a match with as long as you get it through that hole. With the repairs made, the excitement is high. Another run of over 75 miles per hour will seal the record. It looked fast, but the car is destroyed, and worse still, the timing failed. No, we set it for this. We set it for this. Have you tried pushing it through? Yeah. We did it three twice before that run. The record attempt must begin again with a new car. This time, only one rocket fires and the car isn't fast enough. New rockets are prepared. Run 6 reaches 85.4 miles per hour. Now all that's needed is a return run. Two runs in opposite directions. Comes back through, okay, doing the same as this now, and we pick the score up here. David, what's the one? We've had some encouraging speeds of 88 mile an hour, uh, but unable to uh, get the response the other way. Um, we're now into our last attempt, which uh, hopefully is going to break this record. It's all or nothing. Well, yeah. No reason why that shouldn't go back. Are we ready? The final run looks good. The timing worked. The officials calculate the average speed. Can we have a mathematician over here just to check these figures, please, as you're a qualified teacher? Allegedly. 88.4. Right. 
Hello, well, first of all, let me say I'm very, very happy to be here today. It's a really exciting, every time I go to a new record attempt, uh, it's an amazing achievement that you have done here today. The car looks great, and as you've seen before even, uh, it was never down to the vehicle, it was always down to the measurement actually, so we couldn't uh, give you a result. Well, we have a result now. You knew that the target to beat was 75 miles an hour average. Now, the results are in, and you have done 88 miles, 92, and you finished well with my goal. Fantastic achievement. You are official Guinness World Record holders, and you're officially amazing. Well done. It was really wonderful to see the enthusiasm of the students and I'm sure that many of them would like to try similar projects in the future. Perhaps they'll be aiming to break their own record next year.